The Ottawa Senators are extremely pleased to select from the Boston U Terriers, Brady Kachuk. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for live tune days of the games and, of course, breaking news. Now, as you can see in that intro video, I was at the Belleville Sanders versus the Laval Rocket game here in Belleville. Uh, going to this game, Belleville, plenty of games in a row with a consecutive point streak, looking to keep that playoff hope alive. They're currently in the last playoff spot in the North Division. Uh, with a win today, they would help propel them spot themselves into a better position. Uh, right now, Utica, where Tom Pyatt is, uh, is two points behind them. And uh, with the win today, they can really start to climb away from them. As well, before we get into the game recap and uh, my experience in Belleville, uh, firstly, uh, during I was right behind the bench to start the game, and uh, Puck went out of play into the Sens, the B Sens bench. Philip Gustafson, the top Sens goaltending prospect, uh, told the trainer to give me a puck. So thank you, Philip Gustafson. I got a game puck used during the game. You can see there's a b- little bit of a chip. It's very cool to get that uh, that souvenir. Um, you know, there, it was a great experience, um, but getting a game puck, sitting right next to Phil Gustafson and the rest of the Sens um, players, B Sens players, was pretty a pretty cool experience. Um, besides that, uh, let's let me show you a nice Andreas England fight. He knocked the hell out of a, out of a Montreal Canadiens prospect, and then let's get into the game recap. So you can see in that video, Andreas England hasn't had the greatest season in Belleville. In fact, let me read you his stats. Uh, Andreas England going into this game at 14 points, 3 goals, 11 assists in 58 games played. Uh, a couple years ago, he started a game in Ottawa in the big club in the NHL. Uh, but he's really regressed in the last couple of years and got taken over by LeJoie. Well, Lannan should bought another top prospect defenseman for the Ottawa Sanders. So Andreas England uh, looks to be like he'll be in the, NA, in the AHL for a long time uh, until he gets his act together. Um, you know, he had a couple of nice chances offensively, defensively a little bit sloppy. He needs to develop a little bit more before he gets a shot in the NHL potentially again. Now let's get to the first period of this game. After that Andreas England fight really woke up the crowd and Bel- and the crowd and the team at Belleville struck first. Jean-Christophe Brundin, uh, f- his first goal as a Belleville Senator. Uh, this was the guy that we acquired from the Max McCormick trade. one nothing B-Sand assisted by Joseph Labatt, his fifth assist of the year. Ottawa, or Ottawa's affiliate, Belleville, going into the intermission, up by one, but that does not last long. Into the second period we go. Laval on the power play, and Lucas Vegdeno gets a goal on the power play. And just like that, the Belleville Sanders give up the lead. It's a tie game at one apiece. We move forward a couple minutes later. Another bad penalty and another bad penalty kill. Joe Cox, power play goal. Laval, Rocket with the lead, but don't count the Sanders out. 20 seconds to go in the second period. Belleville strikes right back. Joseph Labatt, his seventh of the year, a nice toe drag bar down goal. Top shelf past the Laval Rocket goaltender. This is from Jim O'Brien and Boudin, his two point game for him. Laval and Ottawa affiliate Belleville are even at two apiece, heading into the third period. In the third period, the game was very close. Marcus Hogberg had to make some big, big saves. He started his 13th game in a row. And, um, that Laval Rocket goal, and I'm going to tell you his name right now, uh, Connor Lacouvi, um, this game, he had a 9, 9.14 save percentage going into this game. He was the starting goalie for Laval, and he looked absolutely fantastic. A great chance for Batherson and Paul, and Paul got absolutely robbed by Lacouvi uh, on that play. You can check out Sense Prospects on Twitter. They'll have that. I couldn't get the video of everything, but man, oh man, did he get robbed. Lacouvi made big save after big save, numerous huge saves. And the game went to overtime where Lukuve made some big saves. Hogwork stood his ground, made a couple of nice saves as well. And we went to the shootout. And let me show you the last two shots of that shootout. Yeah, there we go. The B 
Sens lose this one 3-2 to the Laval Rocket, who are 7th place in the North Division, while Belleville keeps their 4th place and keeps the 2-point lead on Utica. Belleville got the point today, losing in the shootout. Utica went to overtime. They lost in the overtime. So Belleville keeps their two-point lead on Utica, which is huge because this could have been disastrous if Utica won that game today. So the standings don't change. Belleville still holds the lead. They're playing tomorrow. I will not be at the game, but they're playing tomorrow against the Lavelle Rocket again. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I, besides that, let me talk about the um, actual game atmosphere. Uh, Belleville uh, is a part of a multi um, sports complex here in Belleville, the CAA Arena, and it's very nice, it's very spacious, it's good crowd, um, very nice and clean, easy to get into and out of, um, you know, it's different than a Sens game, because you have to walk through a sports complex through a couple of other minor league arenas, like, like uh, regular arenas and a pool, but it's really, it's nice walking in and there's a lot of space, it's clean, and you know, it's just a, it's a nice, cool atmosphere, because I've never been to an AHL game. And, it, you know, it, it felt the, the quality of hockey was definitely up there. Uh, got the game puck. Um, the in-game host was good. It was very professional, and uh, it was very enjoyable to be at. I definitely want to come back to another game, hopefully for a playoff game, if they make the Calder Cup playoffs this year, if not next year, another game. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's enjoyable to come down here for a little bit and see this team who is very good play. And, and they've played a good game today. It's high speed, high pace quality hockey they're playing. It's not just, you know, like Timbit players. This is this is top of the notch. Some of the best players in the world, um, you know, after the NHL, these are like the top players. So you got some top prospects. You have some good goaltending. It was a good game to be at, and Laval got the win here. But Belva got the big point they needed. And, you know, I got this, I got this, and I got the game puck. And, you know... Um, I had a great time with myself and my father. And, you know, uh, I recommend anyone coming down to Belleville. It's a nice experience to see the young kids play. And, you know, hopefully I'll come down here soon enough. But besides that, I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys. Uh, like I said in the last video, I might. And, you know, I had a fun enough time and got a good enough, a good enough amount of footage uh, that, I'm interest that I was able to make this video. So besides that, I'll see you tomorrow when the Sens take on the Toronto Maple Leafs in Ottawa. That one kicks off at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in Belleville, enjoy the Belleville versus Laval game. I'll be retweeting tweets from the Belleville game as well. So besides that, thank you for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at SensTalk underscore. For like the of the games and, of course, breaking news, please like us on Facebook at SensTalk. Add us to our circles on Google Plus SensTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like the video. Share the video or share cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website, whatever it's... Uh, check out our website. We update that every single day. And, of course, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or down the app in the App Store. And use the promo code SENSOCK to save $20 off your first purchase. Besides that, Laval takes the W. They beat the Belleville Sanders today 3-2. to two. Sanders get a huge point, and they keep their two-point pace over the Utica Comets for the last spot in the AHL uh, playoff contention. Besides that, I'll see you tomorrow on the Sense Stick on the Leafs. I'll see you then. Go Sense Go, and go be Sense.